Hey, we're here in the shop at Hemmings working on our 70C10, converting it from manual brake to power brake. And it seemed like an opportunity to show you a little tip on setting up power brake boosters with master cylinders to make sure you've got everything set correctly. We're using one of these tools that are readily available now. A lot of the brake parts companies have them. You can pick them up off the internet, off Amazon. It's just a simple little tool that allows you to measure the position of the push rod coming out of the power brake booster relative to the depth of the hole in the master cylinder. The importance of this is that when you put these two together, you wanna to make sure that the push rod coming out of the booster is not pushing the master cylinder's piston in too far. It really shouldn't be pushing it at all when they're at rest. But we discovered on this truck that when the two go together, there is a little bit of compression going on inside the master cylinder. Now the problem that can happen is, if you were to put it all together and this rod is pushing on that master cylinder, if it's pushing the piston too much, particularly when some heat gets in the system, it may not relieve the pressure when you take your foot off the brake and the brakes may start to drag. Now conversely, if the push rod is recessed too far, you may find that there's too much travel in your brake pedal and you're not getting action on the brakes and that can be really confusing when you're trying to figure out why things aren't working. So this tool is fairly simple. There's magnets usually in the end of these. You stick it on the booster, you set the rod here so that it's right aligned with the end of the push rod. You take it off and use the other end and stick it into the master cylinder and that's gonna tell you where you're at. Now in our case, I'm bottoming out on the end of the inside of the piston here, which is not ideal. The problem we're having is this particular booster is not adjustable. A lot of times when you take these apart, there's a threaded rod in here that allows you to set this. We can't do that, but when we put this together, if it doesn't behave correctly, at least we'll know where the problem is and we can address it then. Okay. 